Hey guys, I haven't done an update for a while and to be fair, I don't feel great today as it is. Um, I think my daughter brought in the flu from the air conditioning. It's normally where it comes from but um, I managed to catch it within 24 hours and now feeling quite rough but hey ho. Um, worst things to do, worst, worst places to be. Um, but I just thought I'd do a little bit of an update. Um, for me, business-wise, stuff stuff is moving along. Um, I've started doing more on investments as well, so I've sort of st started putting some investment funds, uh, well, cash into some investment funds, because um, you probably know it's in the markets, not in a good way. <coughs> oh. But what I am hoping for is we get that dive, and then it hopefully jumps by thirty percent next year. But we'll see thing about trading is there's always risk associated with it so one of the things I say is don't put anything you can't afford to lose um, but I'm starting to generate a fund in there um, to sort of stack it um, to becoming self self funding um, by snowballing it you know inject a load of cash in first get it generating a profit and then keep snowballing it um, so it just keeps growing year on year um, and just got it set on a direct debit off the bank as well so it just takes a certain amount of money every month to actually build that up and I pumped a load of cash in it initially just to get it moving um, but I've got to admit the the work I do on my day to day the, I've got to admit the industry is really difficult in the minute I'm not going to say too much on it, but it's as if the people that knew what they're doing have all left the building. Um, it just makes everything so much harder. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm finished on it. In fact, I've, all, all I'm starting to do is diversify. Because um, to live here, um, because we've paid the bulk of the mortgage off, um, and our cost of living is relatively low, um, because... For example, we've got solar water heater on the roof. We'll put the solar um, electric on as well, which is about 6,000 euros. That'll drop my electric bill down to virtually nothing a month. Um, then you're just onto your water bill and your food, which you know yourself is not, it's not exactly bank-breaking stuff. Um, so I'm sort of preparing for moving out of the UK um, and just trying to decipher the best opportunities out there um, it's got to be online it has to be I mean it's too seasonal here where we live so I've got to find ways of making income online the bizarre thing is the stuff I do on my day job is there forever and a day but companies are obsessed with people being in buildings because um, it's like as if you're not sat in an office you're not producing yet at the same time you, if I wasn't producing, they wouldn't have the information um, that actually keeps the businesses running. So it's all a, it's all a bit weird. Um, April and the kids went back to the Philippines as well. Um, they went back there last month, um, which was a good trip for them. Um, I would have gone myself, um, but for three three weeks off work would have been a bit of a tight tight one to, to get with the company. And then it's, so uh, I think once once I wrap things up, I'm going to head back to the Philippines uh, for a trip. Um, now, when I say wrap it up, this is this is into next year because I need to start phasing new ways of generating cash, new ways of exiting, all that sort of stuff. It's not a five minute thing. I mean, I could wrap up, come here tomorrow, and then I'm onto my savings and whatever. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be actually in a position where the cash is being generated every month. So we're moving forward. Um, but we'll get there. It, it, it's just finding the right opportunities. There's opportunities out there. Um, I've seen some good ones on the green energy stuff. Um, you, the UK signed up to net zero as well. So there's a lot of stuff with government contracts tied in with energy efficiencies. So that's that's something I'm already looking into. Um, not 
as an energy assessor, you know, we're going in and going grade the house A to F or whatever. More to do with hydrogen ready boilers, direct drive motors, what's the efficiency between um, a 25 year old boiler and if we change it now, what's the payback, all that sort of exciting stuff. Um, but funny enough, this is how you can justify it to some of these government entities that will go, we haven't got the money, but when you explain that if you actually changed 50% of your lighting um, from old uh, fluorescent tubes, your electric bill will probably drop by two thirds and your payback is actually within three years. So it's all that sort of stuff I'm looking at at the minute. It's just working out how to market it and get it started. Um, then obviously I've still got the stuff going on at the, in the day job as well um, for, for however long that lasts. Um, but things are progressing. I've got to admit, coming home to this is is good because I find Northampton very bleak. Um, I know some of you guys are from there, but I I really don't like the place. The fact that there's so many homeless people is ridiculous. Um, even <laughs> you get people coming begging while you're filling your car up with petrol. I've never had that in my life before, but I've had it twice. I've had it twice in Northampton. Um, massive drug problem um, so it's, it's sad because Northampton could be so much better um, but that's not my base this is my base this is my home but that was only temporary for the school's contract which obviously I've moved on from that already um, but who knows there may be another opportunity coming up in Birmingham and I'll relocate up to there because I actually prefer Birmingham <coughs> And funny enough, it's where the airport is to get back here all the time. So we'll see. But I'm certainly pushing towards the exit. Life is has got a little bit more complex thanks to the old Brexit. Um, it's when I hear people that are having to go backwards and forwards because if their partner's Spanish and they're not a resident of the UK and they're not a resident of Spain, they're sort of travelling backwards and forwards. It was couple I was talking to the other day that were talking about it um, the same as a couple of our friends where they had to bought a house then had to go all the way back to the UK apply for their visas and whatever to become residents to come back to Spain because um, the, the real estate agent didn't mention there was you know all this stuff that coming after Brexit but then again why would you when you're trying to sell somebody a house for commission um, so there's lots of strange areas in legislation at the minute and I don't think the UK has helped itself um, because it doesn't seem to be proactive in trying to sort a lot of this stuff out but we'll see where it ends up over the next decade I mean you look at what the common market in the EU and how many years that took to get the UK into the market so it's no surprise if it takes the UK years to actually outline what it's planned on doing because I get the feeling the incompetence the government have is often what I see in business in the UK it's the indecisive lots of noise but no substance stuff it's a pity you could do with some decent leadership in the UK but yeah it's good to be back in Spain though I'm flying away again uh, next well over the weekend going back to it um, still reading a lot just finishing the entrepreneurs book at the minute which uh, it's fairly basic to be to be honest um, but every time I go through an airport I normally buy at least two books um, and I've got plenty to be reading and plenty I have been reading um, but beyond that things are just ticking along it's not a lot to do in the house at the minute. Like I says, I've been pumping money in the investments, and I've been pumping what's spare into the mortgage. My um, the house, we've had the house for two years. Um, come December, um, which realistically we're about twenty five percent of the mortgage. Yeah, sorry, twenty five percent of the costs. Let's call it cost. Because the thing is, although we had a 
originally the house was 135k we spent about 40,000 I think on renovations so we, we're eating away through that but December is important because if you overpay your mortgage you can get um, some extra taxes and stuff in it so I've got to wait until December then I can start paying larger chunks off I mean the mortgage at the moment is only 450 euros a month but it'd be nice to just get it gone you know especially interest rates going up I'm giving a couple hundred euros a month to the uh, the bank that I don't really want to be doing um, so it's all it's all pretty good but the, the only problem with being busy is I don't get to do much um, I've started writing my first book as well um, which I said I would be writing and I have been uh, I've done the first I think it's probably about the first 20 pages so far um, seems to be coming along all right I've got a bit of a structure to it as well so it's just got to write it and then get people to review it and then probably just stick it out as an ebook um, on Amazon or something just see, see if there's any interest on it but one of the things I will say is important um, is to regularly assess yourself see I often will drive further and further ahead you know uh, you sometimes can become disconnected from where you were so like here you look where we were when we come here what six years ago we were renting an apartment um, had a 300 quid car and not a lot of structure uh, we had some money in the bank but the internet here was like I think one and a half meg and now I think it's 600 meg or something I think they've even got uh, yeah it's, it's even faster further down um, but you forget where you where you are so you've got to rebase yourself and get you back to ways back to the present which for me is looking back a bit and going, well, look, you've paid off the majority of the house in two years. You've renovated the majority of the house. There's still stuff you want to do, but it's not urgent. You, you've got virtually no debt. Your car's a pain in the backside, but it seems fairly stable at the moment. The DPF filter's still a pain, but because I'm mainly using it for the airport runs, it'll last another two, three years. So instead of spending 12 grand on a new car, shove it in investments um, so things are improving the, the big thing now is the restructuring because I can live on a third of what I would make at the minute um, so even if I found something just to fill that gap that would be good I want to be home more I want to spend more time with the kids also went fishing as well um, which my son loved I think we're going to go there tomorrow as well um, but it's important you get that grounded piece because your kids will grow up too fast. If you're focused on making the home and everything else, before you realise it, your kids have got girlfriends or whatever and they're already moving out before you had some serious time with them. I mean, we had some fantastic times in the Philippines. We had some fantastic times here. But now they're hitting that teen time, it's important that I get more time with them as well. Um, because like I said, they'll soon be soon be going. Oh, Dad, I'm moving out. Got got a flat. Got a girlfriend. All that sort of stuff. <laughs> um, <coughs> so I know April won't be keen on uh, all moving out. It'll probably be telling me to buy a flat so they can stay stay nearby. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's a bit of an update. Uh, beyond that, have a fantastic weekend.